us off with the kickoff. And we go through the starting lineup. Former lines in goal. Harrison will be in goal. Gina Frankson, the player to watch. Uh, Daniel Hardy, Rashawn Livingston. And if Flemings is also there for them, Dewar, Jeremy Nelson, Daniel Hardy, Wilson, and Samuels, along with Jason Wright, the prolific player. And they will be playing in a 4 4 2 formation. Jason Wright and Livingston up top. Uh, they're the players expected to bang in the goals for them. But Frankson at right back, he has gotten on the score sheet this season. And, but more so today, we'll be looking to keep uh, this team at bay. We take a look at the starting lineup for Dumby Holden. Last time out, as we say, Nelson, he came off the bench. Hyatt is in goal for them. Uh, Burton Watkins gets back a start in, was on the bench while Hodges was on the field. Hodges in there as well. Powell, Segree, McCarthy, Merrick, Allen, Thomas, and Nicholas Nelson who is the player we are watching closely here today because when he got off the bench the last time, he created havoc for Lima Hall. 4-3-3 is the formation they are playing. McCarthy, always critical in a system like this because he decides to shield the back four and is really good at doing that, one of the best in the business. I have Leger in the house here with me as well and Leger will be looking at what he's expecting from these two teams from attack. Full match highlights, Carvel Banton, the man in charge. And a goal, a fixture with a lot of goals. Over the top early. Jeremy Nelson with the opportunity. His brother just showed him here how to score goals. Eight on the season at this point for Nelson. What a finish that was. Came wide to collect, then the one-two play with Marlon Allen. And a beautiful finish into the far corner beyond Peter Harrison, who could do nothing about this. And after 20 minutes, Dumbo Holden were a goal up. In the first fixture this season, they did defeat Malines by two goals to one, with two of them from Nelson himself. In fact, all three goals from Nelson, the Nelson brothers. Jeremy, on that occasion, the only goal. A strike on target from Wilson, which was parried by Damian Hyatt and then this moment this is how they'll get back into it. look at the strength from Jason Wright a shot which was parried by Hyatt not good enough though and Adain Samuels on hand found himself in a very advanced position the center back to gain the equalizer former lines right back in it and that came after just 26 minutes good resilience shown by the team in blue two minutes later they would go would take the lead they would have their second. Tyreek Wilson coming into the midfield in this game and providing for his main striker and captain, Jason Wright. Slotting away, just opened his body so well, Jason Wright. Saw where the defender was, had Damian Hyde committed and placed it beyond him to his left-hand side. Wright, his eighth of the season, and Mullines with the 2-1 advantage. Marlon Allen drove forward solid strike but it was always going over the top lots of power behind it and in this moment for right a real opportunity the ball just wouldn't settle for him though staying a bit too high wouldn't come down in time rush the shot and spewed it off the outside of the right boot they would go into the half at 2-1 but it wouldn't remain Nelson sitting in the palms of Peter Harrison who would push over and then this moment from the near post Nelson so much in, so involved in everything good for Dumbo Holding and in this moment, Marlon Allen, his first goal in a Dumbo Holden shirt. Scrappy defending from a line, but Dean Sam was not recovering quick enough. And Allen slotting away for two all. What a talk it must have been from Lenny Hyde. He could not have imagined a start to the second half like this. Three goals in the space of 11 minutes. This would be the second, a penalty awarded because of the foul on a Shaquem Powell and Nelson slotting into the far triangle easily beyond Peter Harrison. A brace for Nelson at this point. A 3-2 lead for Dumbo Holden and they weren't finished. Then Nelson bundled over from Odin Samuels. That was very clumsy from the Malines number four. And Nelson would make no mistake, went to the same side that he beat Harrison a couple minutes before. A hat-trick for Nelson, his first of the season. And four goals 
for Jungle Hold. And Nelson could have had more. Probably should have taken the strike earlier. Delayed it. And instead it was deflected out for a corner. He would be taken off, Nicholas Nelson. Picked up a knock as the game went on. And Malines desperate to get back into it. Playing provider was Jason Wright. But unfortunately for him, his teammate didn't have the same level of quality inside the box. 4-2 it would finish. Twelve shots, six on target for double holding. Half on half of the attempts on target as well for Malines. They had eight shots in total. Some 25 fouls between the two. Three yellow cards shown by Carville Banton. And he was pretty lenient, it must be said. A few more could have probably been shown as well. It was a busy day between the six for the keepers. Two saves each. Nine corners between the two. And look at that possession stat for Jumble Holding. 63% possession for the team in white and red. They leave with a big three points. They're back in the playoff spot. They defeat Malines by four goals to two. Lige Williams has our man of the match. Can you guess who it is? Yeah, Chris, it could be no one else but Nicholas Nelson, a hat-trick here today. You like to score in clumps, and you scored a wonderful hat-trick today. But I know that first goal was your favorite. Uh, well, um, we've been working on that on season, that set piece we do at the first goal, and it came out today. Yeah, 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 it's not your first curl finish of the season, but, you know, after you got the three goals, you ended up limping off of the field. After you have to assure your fans that it's not a serious injury. Well, um, I felt like a niggling, but you can't take it um, serious. And I mean, so I have to come off and give the next player a chance to show, the, show what they have out there. And you know, you, you're into double digits now in terms of goals for the season. You're right there for the Golden Boots. Is that one of your aspirations for the season? Yes, um, my aim is like get 20, 20 goals in, uh, more in this season. And I'm working on it. Uh, the season is long. We have like six games. Yeah. And you certainly have the quality to do it as well. And I'm sure you have a lot of aspirations for Dumbo Holding generally as well to get the team back into the finals and more. Yes, uh, we have to keep working hard and focus game after the game and try to beat the, um, in the top six. You know what I mean? And because uh, if we can take the, um, the table, it, it, it's all well close. Because um, Mo Mo uh, Montego will be on 26, Waters on 27, and we are on 27. So can't take any, um, the game for granted, so we have to check, score more to goal we can do. And you're up to 30 now, you're in the driver's seat, and best of luck for the rest of the season, and continue scoring those goals as I know you love to. Yes, thanks. Excellent performance there.